another episode of Getting to Know. Today we're lucky enough to have one of Getting to Know's biggest fans, Jack Trengrove, on the show. Trenis, thanks for coming. That's all right. It's good to be here, Ellie. Excellent. What have you brought in for show and tell? I've actually brought in a book here, and um, these are a moon, a moon Bears, and I've become an ambassador of a foundation called Animals Asia. So it's just something to keep me preoccupied off the field. And um, they work to go in and educate a lot in China because there's, the Chinese are capturing a lot of moon bears and extracting their bile and putting them in small cages. And it's more to do with animal cruelty and just educating them on sort of to stop that from happening. So it's something that I'm um, sort of passionate about animals and it's good to get involved in. Can you show us what's inside the book, Trenis? Yeah, sure. So. Um, They've just got a, a number of different moon bears that they've actually saved and they've got a sanctuary over in China where they keep them all and try to um, get them back into full, full fitness and get them going again. So this is Delaney. One of your favourites? Oh, of course. <laughs> it sounds like an excellent cause. So if the viewers want to find out how they can support Animals Asia, where should they go? Yeah, just go to the website www.animalsasia.com and have a look around and it's a very interesting website and if you're willing to donate then I definitely recommend it. Absolutely, it's an important cause. Trainers, we've got some questions for you from our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram fans. First up, George would like to know what meal do you have before a game? For breakfast or... Oh, you could go the night before yeah, and breakfast. So the night before I've been getting into some quinoa, which is... Um, a bit out there for some people, I suppose, but quinoa salads and things like that, which I like before a game. And then morning, I've got a little muesli mix that um, Tappy and myself have made up, which does it too. Very cute. You and Tappy cooking together. Um, Cherney would like to know who's your best friend at the club, and I'm going to say other than Tappy. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's your world. No, I don't know. I get along with uh, a lot of the boys, and um, I'm actually going away on a bit of a holiday at the end of the season with Dawny and Watsy, so those two are probably up there. Now also, um, your sister Jess ran the marathon in the Olympics on Sunday, coming 39th out of 120, which is very yeah. exciting. We've got a photo of Jess from the Olympics, and this is quite entertaining. This is uh, Jess and Liz Cambridge, and yeah. being a marathon runner, Jess is quite small. Being a basketballer, Liz is quite big. Yeah, she does look like a fair midget there, and I always give her grief about how small she is, and it really does come out in that come there. <laughs> Now, did you speak to Jess after the run? Yeah, so I've spoken to her, and she's on a bit of a high, and um, she actually said once she finished, crossed the finish line, she wanted to go again, which you know, I find hard to believe, but. Nah, she's really pumped and she's staying over for an extra month just travelling in Europe and having a, probably a well-deserved holiday. Uh, Trenners, um, Deb sent me in some photos, your mum, and she tells me that in the past you had a modelling career working for her. Do you remember this? Oh no. <laughs> well, I don't specifically remember, but I do know the photo and um, yeah, quite... Flattering kit, <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk us through your modelling days for death? Yeah, mum used to work for a, a bit of a clothes store and she'd um, you know, make the kids do the models and I didn't really have the face for it, but <laughs> I seemed to pull off the clothes right. Any chance of returning to the modelling career anytime soon? Ah, uh, no, no chance. No. Never had it in me. I could uh, pull off a kit, but the head just... It's not Was it working? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's been another episode of Getting to Know. Thanks very much for coming on, Trenners. Thanks for having me on. Excellent. Next week, we've got Mitch Clark, so you can tune into our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram feeds to ask Mitch Clark a question. See you next week.